Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Blair. So today I want to do a collective haul. So I've been getting some stuff from Ulta, Sephora, as well as Target and some Asian beauty store. So I just want to share with you guys in one video so that you can just see all I got. And if you are interested, just keep watching. So the first item I want to talk about is the lip gloss I am currently wearing on my lips. So this is from e.l.f. It is the e.l.f. lip gloss in the shade Twist Mocha Twist. So I just really really love the color. I think it's a very wearable color. And I love this e.l.f. gloss series. I think they are so beautiful. They are $5, very affordable. But it's also very good and they're not compromising on the quality. I love how the glass feels on my lips. This kind of reminds me of the MAC lip gloss but at a fraction of the cost. So I just love it. And I feel like this color in particular is such a wearable daily color. So I think it is amazing. I really really love it. So that's the first item that I hauled. And moving on, the second item I got is from Alta. So this is the Clinique Take the Day Off Micellar Cleansing Towelette. So this is a sister product to the Clinique Taking the Day Off Cleansing Balm. Because that one is everyone's favorite. So now they come up with this Micellar Cleansing Towelette. And in this pack you will have 50 towelettes, which is amazing. And it's allergy tested, 100% fragrance free, and it is for all skin types. So I just cannot wait to use it. Actually, yeah, I didn't, I haven't used it yet. So let me just try it right now, because I am also a huge fan of the cleansing balm. But sometimes it can be a little bit of inconvenient because it's in a balm instead of a towelette. So I really love it. It's actually quite lightweight and quite thin and it doesn't really have like a soaked product kind of a feel because some cleansing towel can feel a little bit heavier on um, product but this is definitely very thin and it's kind of on the drier side so i love it i think it is amazing i need to play around a little bit more to give you guys more of a thought on this but first impression wise i think it's pretty good all right moving on we have a new product. It is from Alta as well. And it is a Stila Shimmer and a Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. So I am a huge fan of the Stila Glitter Shimmer. And I have a bunch of them. I also bought some new ones from Sephora. So when I saw this coming up, I'm like, I have to try it. So I got the color Jess Bell. And let me tell you, this one is so perfect for all kinds of occasions. Like I feel like this is a color that you won't go wrong with. So here is the inside looks like. It's the same packaging, same design as the glitter ones. Except the cap is kind of like a copper brown shade. And uh, inside you will still have the wand. So there is a wand. So let me swatch it for you guys. Okay, that's one swipe. Look at the color. I think the color is very, very beautiful. And it is a natural coppery shade. I think you can wear it on all kinds of different occasions. To weddings, to work, to school, to, I don't know, grocery store. So... I love it and uh, this I personally think is more wearable compared with the glitter one so I cannot wait to put this one on my eyelid. Alright moving on next I got a concealer from Target. So this is the Pixi by Petra Pet Away Concealing Base. So this is a concealer looks like it is retail for $16 and it is a concealer it's called Concentrated Yet Skin-like, Elastic and Long-Wearing with Powerful Antioxidant Protection. And it is paraben-free, not tested on animals. So here is the one here on the packaging. That's what initially 
draw me in because I love a big wand. I feel like after shape tape, everyone just are so customized to the big wand. So I just, I, I am the same. Like, I like a big one. So if I consider have a big one, that makes me want to try it. And then mine is in the shade number three, warm. All right, so let me show you the color inside. Actually, you might get shocked when you see the color. So here is the color warm. Honestly, to me, this is not really a warm color whatsoever. But um, I think that's one thing that Pixie Beauty can work on is expanding their shade range. But I really love the Dofu applicator. I have already tried a little bit on the hand and I love it. So let me swatch it for you guys. Here is a swatch. As you can see, it's a very, very um, fresh and lightweight concealer. I would say it's very skin-like that uh, I agree. And uh, I feel like it just melts into the skin. So you just... Dot, dot, dot underneath your skin, dot, 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 and then bluff it out using a beauty blender. I think that will be great. The next two products are both from Milani. I got them from Target. So the first one is the Milani Baked Blush. This is in the shade number 6, Bellissimo Bronzer. So technically, it is a bronzer. And this is retail for $11.99. And uh, it's just in the same family as the baked blush. So here is a pan looks like. I quite like this color. And let me swatch it for you guys. So this is on the back of my hand. And here is the swatch. So this is definitely more on a shimmery side. It's not just completely matte. And they also have kind of like a blush hue to it so it's not just a bronzer so i think this will be so beautiful if you want a warmth to your skin but you don't really want like a harsh contour or just a contour you could just use this blush slash bronzer as a contour so i just really really love this product i think it's amazing it also come with a mirror and a brush i usually don't use it but i feel like if you're on the go that can come in handy so that's the first item then the second item is the Milani Baked Bronzer. So it is a bronzer line. And mine is in the color number 9, which is called Dolce. So it is a beautiful, very wearable bronze color. I personally think that this might be a little bit too light on my skin. But um, I think I can make it work or I can just use it in conjunction with the blush. So here, that's the swatch. It's pretty light, I'd say. But one good thing about that is that you can build it up. You don't have to um, just fit, uh, like worry about it's too dark. And then you can get off your skin. So that's the one thing that I like. And uh, as you can see, it's a light bronzer. has a nice medium brown tone to it. So I like it. I think it's nice. So this is retail for $12.99. Honestly, in my opinion, I feel like this might be worth a better value because this is twice the size as this one. But it's only $1 more. So moving on, I have a Glotion that I really love. It's from Target as well. It's the L'Oreal True Lumi Glotion. And I saw this in advertisement everywhere. I got the shade in 02, which is light glow. I've been using this for a little bit while now, so I really love it. I think it's good. And it has like a squishy tube. So here is the product right here. And you just push it out. So here is how it looks. Look how natural that is. It's a nice light champagne color. I definitely think it's very wearable in different occasions. So I personally really, really love it. I think it's a great value. This is around $12. And I think it's great consider how big the tube is. It's just amazing. I feel like L'Oreal released so many new products this year. And they're also bomb. So that's really amazing. 
All right, moving on next is actually a fun product. It is a mask. This is called the Gold Foil Peel Off Mask. And this is a South Korean brand I got from Target. This is only like $2. So in the back, it says that this is a masky bar gold foil peel off mask. And it is enriched with fruit extras to help moisturize and revitalize your skin. So you just um, take it off like this. And you just put it on top of your skin, leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes, then you wash it off. So that's how you do it. And uh, it will just using it as a peel off mask to just clean your dead skin and all that kind of stuff. So I personally just really, really love it. I think it's beautiful and it's very affordable. So that is awesome. All right, next we have some more exciting product from Beautylish. Can you guess? So this is the Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush Palette and I am in the shade number two, number one, Daria. So I'm, I'm the pink um, diamond color. So first here is the palette looks like. How cute is the palette with all the holographic look. And when you open it up. Here are the shades. I absolutely love this palette. I feel like the reason why I chose this one over the yellow one, because I personally is a huge fan of the yellow color, is that A, I have the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife. I feel like that is kind of similar to the yellow shade. And B, I want some lighter shades. For example, this color. This is a very glossy kind of a finish. So it doesn't really show that much, but you can still have some pigment to it and then you also have this white finish right here which is like this and here is the colors I like it and also I love this glow right here the pink one this is my fave this is the reason why I got this palette to begin with is the pink color I think it's so beautiful so I just think these are all very very versatile beautiful shades I just absolutely love it. Besides, look at the mirror. I think this is the first big palette that I bought it from her because it's truly nailed it. I think she truly, truly nails it. Even though it's very pricey, I think it's very, like, I think it's well worth it. So I love it. I'm so excited. I can't wait to play around. I haven't even put this on my skin yet. So we shall see how that will look. Then moving on to the next product, this is a mask again. This is from another Korean brand called Julep. So this is just an individual mask. I got this one from Ulta. I believe this is $12. They have three components to it. They have an essence, which is called the gel essence. You just using this to prep your skin first. Then you put on the mask, which is a natural biocellulose gel sheet mask. You put this one on. This is for deep hydration. And then you put the sleeping pack on. So this is for like sleep right here. So you have all three of them. I just really want to try it. I heard good things about this brand and it's a fellow Asian beauty brand. And I just want to support that. And it's really cute. So I cannot wait to try it and update you guys on this one. Next, we have another Asian Beauty product that I just got. And this is a product I am using on my face today. And I absolutely love it. So this is the new Shiseido Essential Energy Moisturizing Gel Cream. So here is the gel looks like. And I saw a bunch of fellow YouTubers already like promoting this one because it's a new product coming up. And you just use this, apply morning and night after cleanser. So just a moisturizer. And uh, it's very hydrating, has 1.7 ounce, so I think it's good. And this is retail for $48. So it's, I just say it's a pretty reasonable price for Shiseido as well as for moisturizer. And let me tell you, I am obsessed with this one. This is my number one right now. Because look at the formula, look at the gel. They're just so, so lightweight and it's so easy to absorb. And it's just like a moisturizing bomb. Like, 
personally, I feel like this is very comparable to the Believe Moisturizing Balm. I almost feel like this might be even better because the formula is a gel-like, so it's lighter. So here is the Believe Moisturizing Balm, and here are the gels. So let me just do a comparison on camera. So here, you just I just barely touch it, and then you put it on. Oh my gosh, this is so soft. I can't believe it. it's just so soft. And it smells amazing. It has a very nice floral scent, but it's very um, light scented. So you don't have to worry if you're allergic because it's not strong at all. It is amazing. And for the belief, let's just put a little bit. Because this is more like a moisturizer, so the texture is a little bit more... It's a little high, heavier, not more heavy. <laughs> Sorry. So here. It's still a nice product, don't get me wrong. I still love it. I still think this one is amazing. But I feel like this is just next level. I feel like this has better technology to make it even extra lightweight, extra smooth, extra just, how to say, light. I would set it lightweight, so this just makes it instantly melt into your skin. That's how I feel, and it's full of moisturizing. Like just bang, like a one swipe, you just in. So I absolutely love this one. I will recommend this to everybody because it's just so so bomb. All right, that's the next product. So moving on, we have. A very interesting product that I'm dying to try. So this is the new Becca Anti-Fatigue Under Eye Primer. So here is the box. Here is the product. I When I saw this product on Trend Mood, I was like, I have to get my hands on those. Just because it's just so beautiful. I am a sucker for this kind of packaging. I don't care about the performance. I just want it. And this is a primer. So you just open it up. And here is the color. I haven't even tried it yet. I don't even plan on patch it, but I will touch it for you guys. So you just using this underneath your eyes for brightening effect. I guess I can't really see how it works unless it's under my eyes because that's what's designed for. But I just, upon first impression, when I first touch it, it's very, very soft. It's very, very lightweight, which is important because you don't want to kick up your under eye. And it just has that very nice texture to it. So I cannot wait to test this out and I'll give you guys an update because it is amazing. Alright, the last item that I want to talk about because I feel like this haul is already getting too long. So I'm going to do a part two. So stay tuned for that part. But I just want to have one last stuff. It's technically more like body care instead of a skincare. But I just love it. So this is a hand cream from Chanel. This is what it looks like. It is called a smooth, soften, and a brightening hand cream. And uh, this is the inside looks like. How cute is this one? Look at that. It's so cute. And let me open. It's so easy to open. Let me show you like this. See that? And it smells amazing. It smells so good. It smells like a fragrance, but a very light version, so it won't get too much if you don't like fragrance so when you just squish it just like the yields then the product just comes out and uh, speaking of lightweight this one is very very lightweight on your hand as well it's not as lightweight as a gel obviously because that's more for the face but the, as a hand cream this one is so soft it's just very easily absorbed. It's not sticky at all and it's not feel oily because some hand cream makes me feel really oily and I don't like that. So this one is really nice. I really love the feel of this one. So yeah. It smells so amazing too. Mm, I just love it. This is just amazing. So yeah. I feel like hand is something that people tend to ignore sometimes because it's not really on your face but i think hand can say a lot about a person so i recommend everyone to take care of your hand 
whenever you can because you know you only live once you want to take care of your body that's the most important thing money and everything else can come and go but your health is sticky with you so yeah that's my last item so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up that will really help me out and that will also let me know that you're interested in the haul so I can keep doing it for you guys. And that's it. That's for today. Thank you for watching. Bye.